Is your computer running slower than you'd like? Then the issue may be the RAM which your computer has available, which in many cases can be upgraded to significantly improve the performance. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the process of upgrading a laptop's RAM and see what impact this has on the speed and performance of the computer. But first, we should consider what is RAM and how does the amount of RAM installed on a computer affect its speed? RAM or random access memory is in simple terms, the short-term memory of your computer. As opposed to the computer's storage, which can permanently store all of your computer's data and applications, the RAM only temporarily stores the data needed to actually run services and processes on your computer whilst they're in use. For this reason, RAM is much faster in speed than computer storage devices such as hard drives or solid state drives. So what does this mean in terms of actually using your computer? Well, essentially, the more RAM that your computer has, the more applications it can run simultaneously. For example, watching videos at the same time as browsing the internet, or even having a large number of browser tabs open at once. In addition to this, a computer will be able to process things at a faster speed with more RAM installed. We'll come back to this later. So how much RAM do you actually need for your computer to perform well? Most entry-level laptops will ship with four gigabytes of RAM, which will be sufficient to perform the most basic of functionality, such as web browsing, emails and word processing. However, I'd suggest that for most people, this would be less than ideal as the computer will struggle to multitask and may even slow down to a crawl once you start opening multiple applications at a time. Eight gigabytes is the next common configuration for RAM, which you'll find on most mid-tier laptops. And I'd say this is the sweet spot for a good experience when the use case is productivity. With eight gigabytes, you'll be able to comfortably browse multiple websites and run multiple basic applications simultaneously without any lag. Multimedia won't be a problem at this level either. It's even more than enough to run a variety of basic games if that's something you're interested in. It's worth noting that my current phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, has 12 gigabytes of memory installed. Just a few years ago, this would have sounded like a ridiculous amount of memory to have in a phone, and it still is today. In Samsung's case though, this enables powerful multitasking and even the ability to connect your phone to a monitor and use it like a desktop computer using Samsung DeX. But that's a topic for another video altogether. Okay, so stepping up from eight gigabytes of RAM, the next common configuration is 16 gigs. And this is the amount which came pre-installed in my HP Envy 15. This will be more memory than most average users will require. However, this will be a good starting point for anyone wanting to use their computer for creative tasks like photo and video editing. I use the HP Envy with its included 16 gigs of RAM for editing a 4K video in Adobe Premiere Pro. And although it was able to handle the task, it did sometimes struggle with scrubbing through the footage and the application crashed on a couple of occasions. When it came to rendering the clip for export, it was able to handle this in a reasonable amount of time which we'll measure in just a moment. The HP Envy also struggled when I had multiple applications open whilst editing, such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Google Chrome. These are the issues which I'm hoping to address when I upgrade the RAM today. So we'll test out this theory and see how the performance improves after the upgrade. Now, before I upgrade the RAM, I'm going to do a bit of a benchmark test on this laptop to see how it's performing currently. I can see how much memory is installed in the computer by checking the system settings, and this shows that there's currently 16 gigabytes. When the computer's turned on and no applications have been opened, the memory usage sits at 27%. In order to test how this upgrade will improve the computer's performance, I'm going to export a 4K video project from Adobe Premiere Pro. This project is eight and a half minutes long and is made up of various 4K clips and After Effects compositions. As you can see, the export is completed in a little less than 16 minutes. It's worth noting that I'm also running a screen recording application, which will have slowed down this process slightly. During the export, the memory utilization sat at around 88%. All right, now that we understand RAM a little better, let's get to the upgrade. For this video, I'll be upgrading the RAM in a HP Envy 15. And although the process will be similar for other laptops, there will likely be a few differences. Before opening up the computer, the first thing we have to do is disconnect the AC power cable and shut it down.
This is the RAM upgrade kit which I purchased, which contains two 16 gigabyte RAM modules, which I picked up from Amazon for $184 Australian or around 130 US. This RAM comes from Crucial, which is a reputable brand which HP themselves recommend for use in upgrades. It's important to note that each computer is only compatible with a specific type of RAM. An easy way to check what your computer requires is using the tool on the Crucial website, crucial.com, which allows you to select your computer model or scan the computer and will then provide you with compatible upgrade options. To access the computer's internals, you have to flip it over so the underside is showing. In the case of this HP Envy, we would need to remove the entire bottom cover to access the memory. Other laptops may be slightly different and may just require the removal of a small panel. In this case, we require a Torx head screwdriver. The bottom cover is secured with five screws, which we'll unscrew now. Make sure to keep track of which screws went in each position, as often some will be longer than others. Now that the screws are removed, I'll use this plastic trim tool to pop the bottom cover off from the main body. It's important to use a plastic tool so you don't damage the aluminium frame. Here are the RAM modules. They're covered by a memory module shield, so I'll peel that off. The RAM is secured in place by retention tabs on either side. To remove, simply spread these outwards and the RAM will pop up and then can easily be lifted out. When handling the RAM, avoid touching the connector pins. Take note of the position of the notch in the RAM as this will align with a notch in the memory slot. Now we can install the new RAM by inserting it into the empty slots and pushing it down until the retention tabs click into place. Finally, place the memory module shield back over the new RAM and reattach the bottom cover and screws. Okay. Time to turn on the laptop and see if the RAM is installed and working correctly. We can see here in the system settings that we now have 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. So the new memory is being recognized. Let's take a look at the memory usage. Here it shows that whilst just running Windows and no other applications, the usage is sitting at about 16%. That's around 10% lower than what we saw prior to the upgrade. Now for the real tests, I'm going to export the same 4K clip which I tested earlier. During the export, the memory usage is sitting at about 75%, which is 10% lower than previously. The export finished up in just under 14 minutes, which is two minutes less than it took earlier. Although this may not seem like a significant improvement, it's a reduction nonetheless, and the savings will add up over time. The real benefit, which I'm looking forward to, is the capacity of the computer to multitask using several resource-heavy applications. This is going to be really useful during the editing process and also just in general day-to-day -day use, as we've effectively doubled the laptop's short-term memory. This concludes the process of upgrading your laptop's RAM. As I've mentioned earlier, the process will differ slightly from laptop to laptop, so be sure to check the service manual for your specific model. If you have any suggestions of what videos you'd like to see in the future, please drop me a comment below. Otherwise, I have some videos coming up to share my thoughts on some awesome tech, so if that sounds like something you'd like to see, hit subscribe and the bell icon below, and I'll catch you at the next one.